When you see Reinhardt getting involved in this fight for this upcoming arc of ReZero, you know things are getting serious and completely out of hand with the Witch's Cult. And you may know Reinhardt's OP, but do you truly know how OP he is? Like, to, to kind of put in perspective, Reinhardt, unironically, okay, if we're comparing him to, like, other fantasy stories, would demolish Ainz. Like, straight up, a fully prepared Ainz would get absolutely devastated by Reinhardt. I'm just gonna be completely blunt. Like, he would absolutely be demolished. But, I'll take it one step further, and this one's gonna really upset a few people out there. Reinhardt would destroy Gojo. Yes, Gojo from JJK. I know that's a crazy comparison, two different series, etc., but, like, Reinhardt is legitimately just outright broken as a character. And when you see this man actively participating in a fight, you know things are pretty freaking dire, because it's like, this man, l l reminder, okay? In the first season of ReZero, like, Subaru was struggling. You know, he was struggling with the Battle Hunter. He didn't know what to do. Reinhardt appears, basically solos her, gets rid of her, and th that's about it. And it's just like, he, he when he comes into play, he could just straight up insta-win. Like, he, he's just broken. He is like that insert main character protagonist in a fantasy story that is just absurdly broken with a cheat skill. That is exactly what he is. And so, when you see him involved, okay... Things are bad, like, legitimately bad, because, you know, Toppy Sensei doesn't just use his character willy-nilly, he's usually incorporated if things are truly that dire. But okay, let's, um, let's back up from that for a second, and let's just, let's dive into this. ReZero Season 3 got a new trailer, and this trailer is so good, I absolutely love it, and there is one frame, honestly, I truly love. After this Reinhardt segment, we have this scene here with Subaru, and I just love the impact frames here. Like, Subaru's face to the eye design and all that, it's so good looking. Like, I, it's just such a brief little moment, but, like, it's just, it's super heavily detailed, and I absolutely, like, love what they do. Like, it's hard to really get, yeah, see, like, I love the facial expression and all that, the way the eyes draw with the red and stuff. I'm not gonna give too many details of exactly what's going on here, because I know there is a lot of anime onlys that watch ReZero and watch my ReZero content, so I'm not going to dive into exactly who's who and all that, I'm just going to point out things that are very apparent from the trailer. But, um, one thing I will say is, is I want to cover a few things that Ice here, you know, has talked about in the past, like, 12 or 14 hours since the trailer dropped, and there's some pretty important details to really talk about. So, let's start off with, like, when is it coming out, but also how many episodes it's going to be, and how much content is it going to cover. So, a long time ago, about a year ago, maybe 10 months ago, we kind of had speculation and theory that it was going to be about at least two cores, aka like 24 to 25 episodes for ReZero Season 3, and then, you know, there was hints that there might even be more, for instance, like three cores, aka like 30-something episodes for ReZero Season 3. Now, Ice himself does not confirm how many episodes they are, but it's very clear from, you know, what he tries to detail here is that there is definitely, at the very least, 20-something episodes for ReZero coming out. And he even confirms that, yes, Arc 6 is going to be adapted. And let's give some details there if you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Arc 6. Basically... This content that you see in this trailer, all of this content, is Arc 5 content of the story. And last season of ReZero, ReZero Season 2, covered just Arc 4, okay? For clarification, for those who are unaware, basically, it's just different arcs, obviously, different story arcs. And everything we've seen from the trailers and all that, mostly the promotional images, has just been Arc 5 content. However, there was a key visual that released last year, and Ice himself even mentions this in his post, that they did showcase characters from Arc 6. So, it does imply that their intention is to definitely cover Arc 5 and Arc 6 for Season 3 of ReZero. I think that's kind of crazy, because, I mean, Arc 5 can relatively be toned down quite a bit, like, not toned down, like, you know, compressed quite a bit, because it is basically a battle shown in Arc. Arc 6, however, definitely is more heavy in the content, so I'm curious on how they're gonna fit that in. I mean, we'll have to see, legitimately, we will have to see. But, getting onto the big point, though, is, is that we know that Arc 5 and 6 is going to be getting adapted with Season 3. We know that there's gonna be, at the very least, 25-plus episodes, or at least 20-something episodes of ReZero Season 3. So, it does seem like, if there is three cores, 
it's good. It, there is no confirmation yet. Even I says himself that there's no confirmation if it's going to be split core or not. If I had to take an educated guess, it's going to be split core. I think that would be a good thing for healthy production, obviously. And I feel like it would just give the animators a lot more time to work on, you know, the set project. And I think any true ReZero fan would prefer that because it's like, if they need more time, they need more time. We want to see this series be very successful and... I want to talk about, you know, like, why, you know, Art 5 might be the biggest challenge that Studio White Fox has ever faced when it comes to the ReZero content. I'll talk about that in a second, but getting into the actual release date, it is coming out this fall. 2024, which lines up with what I talked about in my previous videos. I talked about at the very earliest I could have seen ReZero Season 3 come out would be for the fall season of this year. I talked about this last year. I said at the very earliest it could potentially there was speculation it might not come out until 2025 there was a lot of theories on that or hints at that and leaks and stuff but it does seem like they managed to make it and fall 2024 is definitely the target release of ReZero season 3 that's great that's overall amazing news I hope that is enough time for them to cook and I I'm excited about it legitimately I am very excited about it and that means that literally this year we will be getting more ReZero content that is that's honestly astounding. I, I am very happy about that. I did not expect to get ReZero Season 3 this year, but we have an also confirmation that Studio White Fox is working on the said series, and it's no co-production with another studio, aka like some people are speculating it might be MAPPA and all that. You know, it's just, you know, it's White Fox. I'm glad to have that confirmation for those rumors can finally be, you know, squashed. Now, we did get, you know, like a little bit of the staff team, like the director here, which here's the director of, you know, ReZero season three you know he's worked as an episode director for re-zero he's done a few things where he's episode directed i don't think he's had like a a lot of like directing roles over an entire series correct me if i'm wrong but i mean overall he's worked on re-zero in the past he's worked on a few notable series i don't think necessarily he's a bad individual like to really direct re-zero i think that judging by what i saw from this trailer if he was responsible for the direction and storyboarding of this trailer it's not bad trailer i think that gets the point across to what to expect for arc 5 so yeah i'm gonna let the director cook i see nothing necessarily wrong with the staff thus far now uh, one thing i do want to talk about is uh basically what challenges and hurdles white fox is going to have to overcome with this content and it is going to be one of the things that are going to make or break season three and potentially either a make rezero still one of the best fantasy stories to ever exist in all of anime or it's going to be thrown in the dumpster bin one or the other. There is going to be no in-between at all when it comes to ReZero, and let's just get right into that. So ReZero Season 3, Arc 5 in particular, is going to have a lot of action sequences, and I think this PV trailer really does showcase that quite a bit, because the main focus of this PV trailer, at least over half of the trailer, is definitely focused on the action side of things, and it's going to come as a surprise for people that are ReZero fans. Anyone that has made it this far within ReZero, yes, we can expect some action sequences. We have seen them from Season 1 and Season 2, but it's never been the main focus. It's never been the main priority within the story of ReZero. It's mostly the psychological element, Subaru trying to figure out how to overcome these certain situations he's in, how to get out of this, like, prison, so to speak, to be able to save everyone. You know, it's always about the psychological aspect. And those elements, yes, they're still going to be there in Season 3. But one of the big aspects has always been more of the psychological the main focus and the conversations between the characters and it's very clear that you know this trailer wanted to present that it's going to be fundamentally different from the previous seasons that there is a lot more action focus with the characters these new characters have been hinted at or shown briefly in the past we're finally getting to see more of them and see what they're actually capable of and this is one of the big challenges that white fox is going to have i'm not saying white fox can't do it i'm just saying that fundamentally Art 5 is going to require a lot of good commitment and animation because it is definitely, in my personal opinion, to make a lot harder to animate faster paced scenes than characters just talking. Now, there is some nuance to it to make it, you know, interesting characters talking, which ReZero has done a very good job with. I'll talk about that in just a second. But, like, animating characters moving around, like, at hyper speeds and all that, showing different ability effects and kind of conveying them to the audience to understand what is going on in the screen 
screen without dialogue is definitely challenging. And ReZero explains this in its light novel pretty easily with, like, what's going on when characters are fighting. But in anime setting, it's all visual. And they gotta showcase what really is happening when these hits connect and all that. How are these characters able to move that fast, etc. And I think it's gonna require a lot of effort from the team to be able to pull this off. And if they pull it off, once again, I am going to be floored. I, I think they can do it. I legitimately think if there is any studio that in staff that could pull something like this off and have just such a 180 shift from the normal stuff of Season 1 to Season 2, it is definitely the staff that works on ReZero. There has just been so much love and commitment to the project ever since literally its first episode ever came out that I just doubt they would start fumbling the bag here after all these years because I think they're very well aware of just how passionate the fans are of this series and how many people really love ReZero to death. It's not just a Western thing, like people love it in the West. The people in Japan absolutely love ReZero, and so I feel like they will give this project the respect it actually deserves. So I'm not too concerned on that fact, and I'll talk about the reason why I think it actually they're really going all in with it in just a second. Let's travel back down to um, basically the stuff with what I just said, and like how, you know, the nuance of the talking scenes are. So ReZero has mastered the art, in my opinion, of having characters just talking. It is a very interesting way they handle these sequences throughout Season 1 and Season 2, where it's like, when characters are just conveying stuff to each other, and it's just exposition or characterization or development... Let's be blunt here. It can sometimes get a little bit boring. I, I am fine with that stuff. Truthfully, I am. But to bring it into an anime format and just not have a character standing still, moving their lips and all that, and that's it, and there's like no other movement going on, it can be very dull. It could definitely make your brain feel a little bit slow because it's just like, it's just talking, there's nothing else going on. But the staff at White Fox have continuously managed to make those scenes very engaging and interesting either with the musical choice, the sound effects, to obviously really good voice acting, and then also the way the cameras pan around the characters and showcase their expressions. You know, it adds a dynamic that is very interesting and it brings scenes that normally would be kind of like just not interesting because it's just talking to a more elevated level. Hopefully, I'm you know, explaining that in a better way. So, they've always done a good job with that, so I hope they're able to kind of place that same type of detail into action sequences, even though it's definitely going to be a lot harder, in my personal opinion. Now, with all of that said, let's talk about one of the things I've saw people complaining about, which is the art style and animation. This is a big detail, and I think it does need to be covered after what we've already seen witnessed from this trailer alone. So, if anyone hasn't noticed when it came to this trailer, and I definitely picked up on it after a few watches, I noticed it first, but then really rewatching the trailer is very apparent. The character designs of the faces are a lot smoother or softer toned. I don't know the exact accurate word to really apply to this, but the facial structure is indeed very different. Very, it's very similar to season one and season two. Like, if you weren't paying attention, you won't notice too much. But if you really look deeply at it, you'll notice the overall line work and stuff of the character designs are definitely different from season one and season two. And I think the reason for the drastic or not too drastic, but some slight differences in character design is to make more of a softer look to the characters to allow better animation and art for the fighting sequences. And this is what I just talked about earlier, that, you know, there, it's going to be a huge hurdle to overcome when it comes to just the action moments of, you know, Art 5. And I think that them having an easier art style to draw while they're making a lot of movement is definitely the right direction to go. I think that is a very important thing. It's definitely what Toei Animation has done with, like, One Piece as of late, and I think if that is what White Fox is doing with ReZero Season 3, I think it is the best direction to make that the actual tone or the drawings a little bit more simplistic for they can actually make the movement a lot better in the action. So, I think that the overall art and animation complaints I've heard, I don't think they're really that bad. I just think that people are a little bit jarred by the way the designs do slightly look off a little bit. I do think that in terms of design-wise, though, they actually are more in line with their light novel counterparts. I could be wrong about that, but that's just what it looks like to me. As someone that's looked at the illustrations of ReZero, you know, the light novels quite a bit. Now, let's talk about the other thing. So, speaking of art and animation changes, there is some censorship, which I've had this, you know, image appear a few times already in this video, as you've kind of seen, and there is some clear indication of censorship 
in the trailer. And let's just, let's dive headfirst into this. What's going on here? So, basically, instantly, I saw complaints about this late last night before I went to bed. People are saying they ruined the characters, the designs are ruined, etc. And what, let's explain what's going on here. So, I'm not going to talk about why the arm is different or anything like that. I, I'm not getting into that. There's a lot more context there in that spoiler region. So, I'm not diving into that. I'm going to mainly just talk about the attire. Because I think that is something that people are obviously noticing. So, if you look at the attire, there's some clear differences here with the design. I, I, I think it speaks for itself. And memes aside, why did they do this? Well, for one, they did this in toned down design because of broadcasting reasons, most likely. They want to be able to broadcast this at an earlier time instead of late at night in Japan. Because FYI, how broadcasting works in Japan, the later it airs, the more they can get away with in certain things without censoring it. And... That means that there will technically be less people watching ReZero at those times. So, they're pretty much wanting this series to air probably in the middle of the day or early morning. For kids can also watch it, depending on if kids do watch the show. And they don't want, you know, it to be heavily censored. So, the design decision most likely is broadcasting reasons and how they want to release it in the time slots in Japan. And I think that's one of the big reasons that drove this change. I personally am not, you know upset about the change, I want to be completely blunt, but I do see why some would complain about the change, and let's explain. The only detail I want to talk about here is who this character is, okay? I think it's apparent from the trailer, that this trailer does, that, you know, our characters are fighting the witch's cult. It wouldn't necessarily be far-fetched to assume that this character is an archbishop in the same vein as, like, Sloth from ReZero Season 1, and we were already introduced to a few archbishops at the beginning of ReZero Season 2, which were reintroduced in this trailer of ReZero Season 3. So, if we we're taking an educated guess and we're not watching the trailer with a blindfold on, I think we could all assume that this is an archbishop. I, I, I don't think that's really a far-fetched thing to say or really a big spoiler, so I'm going to just talk about the character. So, if we're looking at the way the character is being presented to the mouth and everything, and then seeing what my boy Ice is saying right here, it's very clear what sin this archbishop represents. Lust. I, I think that explains itself, okay? So, getting into that detail... Lust as a sin can mean a variety of different things. It doesn't necessarily need to mean something of sexual nature, but one of the easiest things to really represent is that. And clearly the design of, you know, the Archbishop of Lust, you know, has a design that would definitely indicate that. The different actual forms, the, the features and stuff, it indicates stuff like that. And the tone down of the design, I do think, does hamper that... Uh, that sin, so to speak, because it is supposed to be that way, but I see why they did it for broadcasting reasons. I I'm not saying I like this, I just think it makes sense why they did it. But I it is sad it had to happen to this character. That that that's all I'm gonna say. Now, with the other character in question, I don't care. I don't care. I legitimately don't care whatsoever. Change her all you want. I honestly remove her. I you know, don't remove anything. Toppy's writing's good. But uh, just seriously, though, I don't care about the change. I think the change is not that bad. People are blowing it way out of proportion. We also had a new character introduced as well in uh, this trailer, which I really like. Like, we have, uh, you know, this character here. So, very happy to have this new blue-haired character. I can't wait to hear the voice actor and, you know, see how their voice is. Because it looks a lot like Ram, so... Let, let, let's see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, ReZero Season 3 is looking to be quite the banger. Um, as more information comes out, I will obviously talk about it. But that's all we got. That's all I got for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. May all of you have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy, and I love you guys. Chibi out.